Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Then we have free yourself, and then we also have pay attention to the red flags. Okay, to me, this kind of feels like the Eight of Swords. Now, this could be your overall energy, because the Eight of Swords, it does represent Gemini energy, but it doesn't have to be you. This could be somebody external to you, but I feel like someone's really stuck in the past. They could even be stuck on a specific person, but let's see. I also kind of feel like this person's like harnessing a lot of anger and resentment towards somebody here, but I feel like somebody's definitely stuck in the past, holding on to a lot of anger and a lot of resentment. It could be you, it could be somebody else. Um, it could even be the both of you, to be honest, but let's see what's going on. We're going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Gemini currently view this relationship? So we have the nine of pentacles. We also have the eight of wands. And then we also have the six of pentacles. You could have a lot of Virgo within your chart, possibly even Taurus or Sag within your chart. How does this person currently view this relationship? Oh, geez. We got the seven of swords. We got the four of cups. And then we also have the... Uh, six of swords at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of cups we also have the empress with the sun and then we also have the queen of pentacles very nice to the nine of cups to the two of swords to the ten of swords i'm gonna be honest i feel like you're the empress slash queen of pentacles in all of this now don't get caught up in the gender even though you're coming across as a queen slash empress doesn't necessarily make you a female you could be a male we all have masculine and feminine energy within us but it kind of looks like you decided to walk away from someone and this could be somebody that you had a romantic relationship with, um, but nonetheless, it kind of looks like you decided to walk away from someone. And this person's kind of coming in with this overall energy of, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. With the Seven of Swords to the Six of Swords, that creates an Ace of Swords at play. It's almost in a sense where they don't necessarily want to accept and or believe that you're done with them. I mean, you look like you're pretty done with them, but it's almost in a sense where they refuse to accept and believe that. I also kind of feel like, again, this person's harnessing a lot of anger and a lot of resentment towards you, and it could just be because you decided to walk away from them and want absolutely nothing to do with them. But one thing I will say, Gemini, is that since you removed yourself from this entire situation here between you and this person, you find yourself in a really, really good place. A really, really good place. A really, really good place. Um... I want to entertain the four of cups real quick. I do. I really, really do. Let me, let me, let me pick this up. Can I more about the four of cups? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I kind of feel bad for this person. If you guys have been me, been with me for a while, you know I don't like seeing people suffer, man. But this person came out with the ten of swords and now they have the three of swords so the pain is definitely being felt on this person's behalf again for some of you this could definitely represent somebody that you were in a committed relationship with and or married to for some of you you could have been engaged um to this person if you guys were never in a committed relationship or engaged or married it had the potential to get to that point okay but nonetheless i feel like this person's really heartbroken over this entire situation and like i said the pain is definitely being felt there's a level of denial also coming from this person it's almost in a sense where they don't necessarily want to believe uh that it's over uh between you and them also too i kind of feel like this person's really hung up on you still so it kind of makes like the whole moving forward and moving on process a little bit more challenging and difficult for them but yeah, they're really heartbroken because they feel like they honestly gave it their all when it came down to you and the relationship that they once upon a time had uh, with you. So the fact that it's just over between you and them, I don't feel like they're taking it that well. I don't. Now, at the bottom of the deck for you, we do have the uh, Ace of Cups and then we also have the Temperance with the Fool. Okay, to the Page of Cups, to the Three of Swords, to the Nine of Wands, to the Four of Swords. I kind of feel like it was a very difficult thing for you, Gemini, to walk away from this entire situation here between you and this person. But I feel like, you know, it was coming from a place of you feeling like you have to do ultimately what's best for you. You know, to some capacity, this relationship was greatly affecting you. I mean, we have the Nine of Wands out here, which basically represents the Wounded Warrior. This could be somebody who has really put you through a whole lot. But nonetheless, 
I feel like you were kind of put in a situation where you had to really look out for yourself. And it just kind of looks like, you know, in the midst of you looking out for yourself, you kind of came down to this conclusion that you kind of have to leave this all behind you. Um, and for the most part, I feel like you're making peace with that, to be honest. I feel like you're making peace with the fact that it just didn't work out between you and this person. Um, I also kind of feel like you made peace with the fact that this relationship just wasn't healthy for you or serving your highest good anymore. Um, one thing that I do kind of find interesting, and keep in mind we are working with time here, and time is definitely fluid, so this could either currently be happening for you, or it might be happening at a later date, but as you're making this decision to do what you feel as though is best for you, I kind of see somebody here showing a lot of interest in you. Now, this could be like, you know, a fairly new person that's showing a lot of interest in you, but I feel like there is somebody here showing a lot of interest in you. I mean, this is somebody who feels drawn to your overall energy. Now, I got to be honest, I don't feel like love, right? Love is your main focus slash priority right now. And it could have a lot to do with the simple fact that there's still like a lot of healing that needs to take place on your behalf when it comes down to this entire situation here between you and this person. But I do feel like somebody is showing a lot of interest in you. And I'm pretty sure it's going to, it's going to show back up when I start pulling for you um, again. But let me look at this person to the right of me. Come on. How does this person... currently feel oh here we go so we have it's like they just don't want to believe it they don't want to believe it nor do they want to accept it okay so we got the seven of cups we got the judgment card and then we also have the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck we have the two of swords and then we also have the two of cups to the justice card to the two of pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, to the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this kind of reminds me of a reading that I did. I'm trying to think of who it was, but it, it could have been, honestly, it could have been Libra, but I don't remember. I know it wasn't the recent Libra reading that I put out. It could have been the one before that, but let's, let's break this person's overall energy down. So there's like this overall energy of them kind of refusing to accept and believe that it's over between you and them. Um, they refuse to accept and believe that you're done with them, basically, more of the story. And with judgment to the Knight of Swords to the Seven of Cups, this person more than likely is going to resurface back up here for you out of the blue. You know, the Knight of Swords is that overall energy of expect the unexpected here, okay? Um, I don't feel like you're going to see this coming, in other words. So I do kind of feel like you're going to be caught off guard uh, by this person either, you know, texting you, calling you, emailing you, um, or possibly even showing up at, you know, your job or possibly, um, you know, your home. But nonetheless, they're resurfacing back up here for you and they're resurfacing back up here for you and it's going to essentially catch you off guard. And it has a lot to do with the simple fact that they genuinely believe deep down inside that you're not done with them, okay? But I feel like it has more to do with the fact that they essentially aren't done with you. It's not that you're not done with them. I kind of feel like because they feel like they're not done with you, they're assuming that you must not be done with them. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going. How does Gemini currently feel? Ooh, we have the star. We got the 10 of pentacles. And then we also have the hair of fawns. So before I break this overall energy down, I really want to hone in on uh, this past person's energy because it is showing up for you. Like I said, expect the unexpected when it comes on to this one over here, okay? Because I do see this person um, heading in your direction and it is going to catch you off guard. It is. It's going to catch you off guard. Um, unfortunately, I don't feel like you're going to like the fact that this person's calling you, texting you, emailing you, or showing up at your job or at your home to have this conversation with you, but it's happening, unfortunately, for you, and I don't feel like you're going to like it. Um, I feel like this is your overall response and reaction towards this person gravitating towards you. You know, as much as you want to move forward and move on with your life and, you know, focus on you and your overall happiness, for some of you, you could be, you know, interacting with someone fairly new at the moment. I feel like this person, by them resurfacing back up here for you, is just sucking you right back to a place where you don't want to be, right? I feel like this person has put you through a lot, and it kind of looks like all you want to do is move forward and move on with your life. You don't want to continue to be reminded of 
this person and everything that they basically put you through so it just kind of looks like by them kind of resurfacing back up here for you it is kind of taking you back to a place you don't want to be right um and it is also kind of reminding you of everything that this person has basically put you through unfortunately for you gemini okay um let's entertain this knight of swords really quickly Time around with the knight of swords The main reason why I feel like you're going to be caught off guard by this person has a lot to do with the fact that the vast majority of you are under this impression that, oh no, it's over. They're not going to text me. They're not going to call me and they're not going to show up at my job. They're going to show up at my house. Like a lot of you are under this impression and it's a false impression to be honest, but I kind of feel like because of how things have been going as of lately, maybe they haven't really been calling you. Maybe they haven't really been texting you. A lot of you are just, you know, under this impression that, oh, no, 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 it's done. It's done. They're not going to call me. They're not going to text me, right? Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. And I feel like that's why it's, it's, it's leading you to this overall energy of being sucked back to a situation that you don't necessarily want to be sucked back into, right? Uh, which is obviously, you know, dealing with this person and hearing from this person. You guys are showing up as a true pair, by the way. We have the King of Swords and we also have the Queen of Swords. Don't get caught up in the gender because nothing's gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. But nonetheless, this is somebody who's resurfacing back up here for you, demanding to have a conversation with you, demanding to have a conversation with you. It's it's that overall energy of no Gemini, we're gonna talk about this. No Gemini, you have to hear what I have to say. Like we need to have a conversation. Like that's this person's overall energy. And I don't feel like this is somebody that you wanna have a conversation with, nor do I feel like this is somebody that you wanna go back and forth with. But with the star to the 10 of pentacles to the hair font coming out here for you, you know, I just kind of feel like the more you continue to put yourself first, the more you involve yourself with the right people, the more you start to notice things fall into place for you. I just feel like you have a lot going for yourself. And as much as you want to, you know, to push forward and, and focus on the things that actually matter to you and surround yourself with the people who actually love and care about you, you got this one over here coming at you, okay? And it just kind of looks like you don't really want anything to do with them. I want to look at the hair of font. Tell me more about the hair of font. Listen, this one over here is going to resurface back up here for you out of the blue. Just anticipate it and expect it. I know that that's not what you want, especially with, you know, your response and reaction towards this person resurfacing back up here for you. I understand that that's not what you want, but it just, it just kind of looks like this person's very determined to get what it is that they want here, which is something that I do want to look into. I do want to look into what it is that this person actually wants out of this entire situation. Why are they contacting you? What do they want from you? Because there's clearly something that this person wants um, out of you. So we're going to definitely look into that. But I feel like this is acting as your advice more than anything. Don't allow this person to distract you. Don't allow this person back into your life. Continue to stay on the path that you're currently on because it's gonna bring a lot of abundance, a lot of stability, and it's going to align you with the people that actually serve your highest good. I don't feel like this person serves your highest good, and I feel like that's something that you are well aware of, okay? But let's see what this person wants. Let's see what this person wants. <sighs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Tell me more about the devil. It, this this to me feels like um like desperation coming from this person. It does. It feels like desperation. Okay. So we have the seven of swords. We got the magician. And then we also have the five of swords. Yeah, no. And then we have the ace of swords to the three of pentacles to the ten of cups. Okay, let's talk about it. So when it comes down to what this person wants, your person's getting very desperate at this point in time, which we could basically tell here um, with the Seven of Swords, the Magician, and the Five of Swords. They're starting to get desperate so much to the point where they kind of feel like they have to really manipulate you in this entire situation. Why? To get exactly what it is that they want. So in other words, this person's going to come in and tell you everything that you want to hear. It's going to sound so freaking nice. I'll tell you that much. It's going to sound nice. Um, 
but they feel like you know they have no choice at this point they have to come in and tell you whatever it is that you want to hear um in order to get what it is that they want which is basically you but i don't necessarily feel like it's going to work out as far as this you know plan that they have in motion here i don't feel like it's going to work out i just feel like this is that type of person that will tell a person everything that they basically want to hear just so that way they can end up getting what it is that they want um, out of that person. I also kind of feel like this person's really struggling right now. They're going through a lot right now. Um, so just, just be careful with that. You know, this person could very well be resurfacing back up here for you, telling you everything that you want to essentially hear um, because they're struggling financially. Maybe they might need your help. Um, I just feel like this person's going through a whole lot. Okay. They're going through a whole lot. Um, so just be aware of that. Like I said, your overall advice is to not engage with this person. Continue to stay on the path that you're currently on because it's going to bring a lot of success, a lot of stability, a lot of abundance. Not only that, but it's going to align you with the right people, okay? Um, so just, just be aware of that. What actions? Okay. We have the Chariot. We also have the Strength card, and then we also have the Eight of Pentacles. All right. What actions? We have the seven of wands, Jesus. We got the ten of swords, and then we got the three of swords. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Um, I want to focus on your overall energy, and then I'll jump over to your person. Tell me more about the chariot for Gemini. You know what's crazy, Gemini, is that I kind of feel like we had a similar message for you. Now, Gemini, we'll get back to this person in a minute, but I do kind of feel like you have somebody new um, entering your energy field, and I do want to focus on that relationship a little bit more. Keep in mind, like I said, we're working with time, so for some of you, you've met this person already, and well, for others of you, you just haven't met them yet, but you guys are showing up as a true pair to one another, okay? We have the Empress, and then we also have the Emperor. The person that sits in the chariot is basically the Emperor, making it a true pair situation here. Um, between you and this person you guys are very compatible to one another very very compatible not only that but you guys are very ambitious you guys are very ambitious and very driven people you guys are going to essentially eventually collide into one another you guys are going to essentially realize that you guys actually share a lot of things uh in common with one thing that i am kind of getting is that the two of you are very ambitious and very very driven and very career oriented you guys are that type of you know individuals where when you set your mind to a specific goal you're very fucking determined to get it you don't mind putting in the hard work and the labor to get it you're very determined to get it and this person is very similar um to you let's see what let's let's look a little bit more into this relationship so i'm about this empress and the emperor you gotta be kidding me we got justice we got the king of wands we got the seven of i'm sorry i'm sorry we have justice we got the king of wands we got the five of cups we got the knight of swords and then we have the seven of wands man Ugh. and then we have the seven of swords to the Ten of Cups. Okay, let, let, let's talk about this past person because they really do want to like keep popping up here in your reading. So let's just let's just talk about them, I guess. But before I do, I'm just letting you know now, this person that you're either currently interacting with or will find yourself interacting with at a later date, it has a great deal of potential without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but let's let's jump back to this past person of yours. You know, this is just somebody who's basically refusing to let go at this point in time, okay? Don't be shocked when this person heads in your direction and gives you the only sob story. Don't be surprised by it. You know, I just kind of feel like this person feels like this entire situation is not fair and, you know, they just want to have a conversation with you and the fact that you're not trying to engage into this situation anymore. They're really upset about it. Um, you know, things of that nature, but this person still has a damn seven of swords attached to them. You can't make this up. Like they still have the seven of swords attached to them. In other words, yeah, they, they may want to be with you. They may want to bring this relationship back together all over again, but they can't get their act together to save their own life at this point. Tell me more about the seven of swords. You know, this person constantly feels like they have to constantly come in and manipulate the situation just to get what it is that they want. 
Yeah, the way that they're going to manipulate the situation is, you know, this is what they're going to end up doing. They're going to basically give you this soft story. Gemini, I'm hurting right now. Gemini, I just can't, you know, fathom or picture life without you. They're going to try to mani manipulate the situation. Why? Because they want you to feel bad for them and they want you to go running right back to them. But I want to go back to what I already said. This person can't get their act together to save their own life. Are they really going through it? Yeah, I do. And I feel like they're looking for you to essentially save them from their own misery. But I feel like they kind of put themselves there. With the Seven of Swords coming out here two times, that basically screams self-sabotage. So the reason why this person's in this predicament is because they put themselves there. Nobody forced them to be in the position that they're currently in. It kind of looks like they kind of put themselves there. And I don't feel like that's something that they're realizing. Okay? Um... But yeah, let's look at the seven of wands here because I feel like this person's putting up a fight. There's a lot of resistance coming from this person when it comes down to the situation at hand that's going on, which is basically this relationship coming to an end. Tell me more about the three of, of swords, the ten of swords. Yeah. So like I said, they're going to give you the only sob story. They want to make things work. They want things to go back to the way it used to be, you know, things of that nature. They don't want it to come to an end, but it kind of looks like at this point in time, they kind of have no choice but to just accept the fact that it's over between you and them, okay? Reality sinking in for this one, and they don't like it. They don't like it. What should Gemini do moving forward? We got the page of wands, we have the seven of pentacles, and then we also have the two of wands. In regards to what you should do moving forward, this path that you're currently on is the path that the divine and God basically wants you on, okay? This path that you're currently on, it is definitely drifting you far, far, far away from this person in particular. Um, so continue to remain on the path that you're on because like I said, not only is it going to bring a lot of abundance, a lot of stability, um, and a lot of wish fulfillment to your life, it's going to align you with somebody who is a true pair to you. I mean, this person is coming across as a king of wands for crying out loud. I'm not a fan of the king of wands, to be honest. I'm really not. Um, they're coming across as a king of wands. They're coming across as an empress. In other words, it kind of looks like you bring far more to the table here than than this person, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, it's just a known fact, right? The Empress always brings more to the table than the King of Wands ever will. But the fact that you're stumbling across somebody who's actually a true pair to you, somebody who's basically your equal, you're going to find a lot of fulfillment out of that entire situation here between you and this person. Um... But yeah, continue to remain on the path that you're on. You're making the right decision here because it's going to lead you to your wish fulfillment towards somebody who is basically your equal, okay? So that's what I have for you, Gemini. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.